Hi Libra, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. I was actually getting kind of this energy too before I started with the Temperance card. There could be almost like a bit of a balance, a balancing act happening right now. I'm hearing between the root chakra and the crown chakra, and actually that's kind of what I was feeling, but it's hard to sort of explain that. But there's a feeling of maybe some of you, because they just showed me something about the stars, and then I when I mentioned that Seven of Swords. So there may even be something happening on a kind of spiritual level here, where there's a balancing going on at this time with something in your life, or like with even... Um, Spirit showed me footsteps moving forward. So it's like we're moving forward. There's footsteps in the right direction. But this may be kind of connected to... Um, well, let's see. Because I, I, I don't know. Let's see what this is here. Okay, so let's get the cards out, Spirit. What would you like to talk about, please, for the collective? What are the main energies coming through? I'm hearing reach for the stars. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, reach for the stars. Okay, so what would you like to talk about for the viewers? The Empress? Yeah, so I feel like this is also confirmation for the viewers watching this that right now um, there's something you're doing which your guides want to say that this is going to bring you a lot of success. They're pointing to this image here of how the crow is up above looking down below like a bird's eye view. I do feel like for a lot of you, if you aligned with this reading, you are in a position of some kind of power right now. Um, whatever that might be for you, it could be something just with the, I mean, with the Empress coming up as a major card, I do feel like for many of you, if you align to this, you seem to be kind of in a position to where there's a lot of victory happening in your environment, um, or there is soon to be. You may have even accomplished something recently, or you're very much on the, the precipice of completing something, which would be a big accomplishment for you. Um, and so there's a feeling here, and actually they're pointing it to what I just mentioned about the crown chakra and the root chakra connection, and how there's a different or bigger perspective being taken with this forest down below. I do feel like some of you have um, kind of mastered something is what it feels like, and you're on track right now to your bounty. You know, you're on track here to continuing to reap the rewards of what this is bringing. And this has been coming up for a while, and it's just a further confirmation that you're on the right track. Um, for the last, I think, like month or two, there's been a strong feeling in the collective of moving on the right track. And it's just a further confirmation that you are on the right track. And Spirit's saying something about how things are coming closer, <clears throat> closer together in terms of something specific. For some of you watching, there could be something very specific that you've wanted. It could be like with that, um, the, the trees down there, you know, let's say it's like a, a job maybe that you've had your eye on for a while or it's a certain milestone. It's like you, the bird is kind of going closer down to the ground. So you're getting much closer to that. But definitely with the Empress here, there's just a, a strong feeling of, um, especially if you're a feminine, you don't have to be, but especially if you are, you may have really tapped into recently your divine feminine energy where, you know, things are just coming to you. You're kind of in a, um, in a place of receptivity and there's a lot of like fresh fruits, kind of metaphorically speaking, and bounty around you. But let's, let's keep going here and see what else. What else does the collective need to hear, Spirit? What would you like to talk about? I'm hearing you're absorbing energy. They're showing me like a sponge and how you are absorbing energy around you. And they're pointing again to the fact of that perspective of the bird's eye view. Some of you are... Um, this is kind of a strange message, but it's almost like, again, with the crown chakra reference, you could even be protected right now from some lower energies. And if you ever do feel like you're susceptible to that, they want you to kind of like remember who you are and to kind of go back up, sort of, if that makes sense, gain a bigger and uh, a larger perspective on the situation. But yeah, you could be very sensitive right now to energy, emotion. I am filming this on the day of the full moon. And there is actually a lot of emotion that I was kind of picking up on too for the collective with the Five of Cups here. So I'm hearing emotion is still 
energy like isn't that something like emotions are energies in motion or something like that but but let's see let's let's keep going what else do you want to talk about spirit for the collective what is the main message here that you want to bring through the tower the ten of swords wow and here we have this queen of wands um yeah i feel like for a lot of you there is something quite big happening in your energy field which may have already happened again this seems like a, a continuation of some of the recent collective readings i've done um where it feels like there could even be a lot of things around you or in your environment which have almost like seemed to come to a complete end a complete halt um with the ten of swords here in the tower the five of cups this is something i'm hearing that you may feel like this is very difficult for you to deal with so it could be something in your direct environment which has completely ended it could also be that you've come to some very difficult truth recently um but i do feel like what's happening is kind of like you know when an airplane goes above the turbulence that's kind of what i'm getting with that empress you're kind of flying up and above the turbulence so if this reading is for you they just want the viewer to know that you are on track to kind of rising above conflict and if you have been kind of pushed away from certain things recently or if you just feel like there's certain patterns within yourself that have been um, kind of like the final straw with those things is what it feels like with the ten of swords there's a feeling of you are rising above it here in a way to see the bigger picture of everything going on so i feel like it's almost like i'm hearing in hindsight you know in hindsight so there could be something like that a situation specifically for you where you realize or you're going to realize that in hindsight something happened here for you um, it happened for the highest good when i was shuffling the tea leaf cards we do have the card misunderstanding at the bottom beneath that we have problems to be resolved so for some of you there could have been a misunderstanding um, that may not be for everyone but and if that is the case again with the with the empress and that crow there there is going to be a problem resolved so you may be coming to more of a conclusion or an understanding with somebody around you if that's the case if it was something specific that you've had a misunderstanding about um, it also could just be that there's been some kind of division in your life some kind of misunderstandings in general and again there's a problem being resolved there's almost going to be some kind of like headway that you're gaining on something with the footsteps but let's get a little bit more and see what else what else would you like to talk about spirit and at the bottom of this deck we have here the hierophant um, and in this one it's called wisdom and it looks very much to me with that book and kind of the rays of light coming out i do feel for some of you there's a like, like i said about a mastery of a lesson there's something to where you've mastered a lesson or you're about to master some kind of big lesson here for you um it's like there's an urgency almost with the open mouth here of the crow there's some something that you how to put it it's almost like a feeling like i said about in hindsight but in this case, it's also like a culmination of something. Um, how to explain it? Again, this is kind of like from maybe a more spiritual perspective, but you can apply it to your physical reality. Like, let's say that there is something that, um, again, has reached kind of its end, its final moment, or maybe you've come to a certain puzzle piece about something here within yourself. It's like this has been the the book has been lit up here. You've you've completed that lesson. You've learned the lesson. You've cracked the code with whatever that is. So from a higher self level, you're in kind of the lead sort of or you are um, in the process right now of making very big progress when it comes to your spiritual growth. So that's something here coming through. Um, and it's funny because I'm I want to keep going back and forth to give like an example of the 3d world and that's funny because they mentioned in the beginning about the crown chakra and root chakra so i'm almost like bringing it down from the crown chakra and i'm giving examples about the root chakra or like the 3d world so that actually could be how it is you know so as i was saying for example it could be that you have had an issue in your life such as 
you know, maybe it is a misunderstanding with somebody close to you, or maybe it's something that whatever that is, there's been like a, I don't know, an issue somehow, or maybe something has fallen apart, um, or maybe there's been a difficult truth to see with the Ten of Swords. It's like you have been able to master that from a higher self level. So now it's been brought back down to make it resolved in the 3D world. I hope that kind of makes sense, but that's, that's something coming through. Um, so yeah, if you align to this and there is a a crown here with on top of the crow and I was, I was kind of getting that too with the empress so a lot of you have been crowned something here you've been crowned with like a um, a badge sort of or like a, a, a token here of some kind of completion of a cycle um, and a reward for this so there's going to be a problem that you're gonna see resolved or many of them in your reality uh, because you're now ready to kind of go to the next level the next stage and Okay, so let's see. What else, Spirit, would you like to talk about for this message? What else do you want to say here for anyone who's watching? They keep showing me that, and I mentioned that before too, they keep showing me something about a certain thing that you want, that you're aligning to. The Sun, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups. And it seems like it's specific. It's almost like if you were to have like a needle in a haystack and you pin down something very specific that you want for your life. Um there's a feeling of like you are on the trajectory to receive that with this ten of cups here there could even be some good news coming in um, in the form of whatever this is that you want to hear about or whatever it is you want to have in your life we'll get some more specifics as we go but that actually could be connected to this problem that's being resolved so you're going from kind of um you're going from this here to something is going to come in and almost like replace the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Cups. Like it it brings you what you wanted, even though you had to experience the, the first, the end of it or the um, issue of it, like a kind of feeling. So I'm hearing late to the game. I'm hearing late to the game, but it's not late. So I don't know what that means. Um, there could be something which you've perceived was late or it's coming in too late than what you thought it was going to come in at or what time you thought it was going to. But actually with the Ten of Cups, it's exactly on point. Um, so again, it seems like it's something that you have wanted, that you've really wanted, and it's going to come in exactly at the time that you've wanted it to. So I can see, you know, as I go along, I always get kind of different messages to put it together. I can see this being something that maybe for some of you was like a brief misunderstanding. Maybe it's between, again, a person and you, Three of Swords. It could be between, let, let's say, uh, they're actually connecting it to the reading I just did about, I think I titled it, something about a relationship wasn't the right time before, but now it is. This actually could be connected to that as well, where maybe there was a a split here between you and maybe a person or even like a, a separation and it wasn't able to come together until that book was carried uh, so until the lesson was complete until there had been a mastery of this lesson until maybe you have chosen to go up at a bird's eye view and see things from a whole perspective so maybe seeing kind of your role in things maybe seeing why things happen this way um, and some of you don't even know you're doing it because it's it's happening from like this crown chakra higher self level to where you, your higher self is putting kind of everything together as to the lesson ingrained in this and why it all happened um, and I feel like that could be possibly for some of you where it wasn't the right time kind of for that until that lesson that wisdom was gained but now you're being led to that thing that you've wanted that needle in a haystack that maybe you felt like you couldn't receive at the time um, it could be something like that but we'll keep going here and see what else um, I'll just leave these here because I keep taking them out and putting them back in but um, there could be something like that for some of you so let's see a little bit more information then what else can you tell us spirit about this message here today Uh, and this came up to previously, I think it was like a month ago, there was a lot of information coming through for the viewer about the thir through the third eye. Here's that book. So there's something, something about a book here. This could be like the Akashic Records, or this could be something about a physical book, but it seems like it's about knowledge being gained. Like a lot of you, if this is for you, again, you've really received, you've gained a lot of knowledge recently. 
you even if you haven't like read stuff or, or anything like that it's like you've downloaded it you've um you've mastered it you've integrated you've activated it so this is all happening here to because for most of my viewers it seems like you a lot of you are very evolved and um if you align kind of to my energy that you're in the you're in the same kind of frequency so i do think that if this is for you you know what i'm talking about because you've been able to sort of um master that here i'm hearing leadership again i keep hearing the word headway so making headway they keep wanting to say um and i just looked up and i saw 1414 and i remember the temperance card was the first one to come out and i i swear that came up last time too i think so i think something with 14. so what else do you want to add to this spirit what else does the viewer need to hear what do you want to say what do you want to say about this message for the viewer the crown chakra the three of cups yeah there's definitely a feeling i'm hearing your intuition is about to uh show it's or like your in your downloads or your intuition is about to manifest so for a lot of you again if you're if you're here this far in the video you probably know what i'm talking about so you may have had a lot of intuitive nudges lately about something um, and what's going to happen is that it's actually going to be confirmed for you. So your intuition is going to things you've been picking up on in the in the more higher realms here with that bird up at the top in the crown chakra is going to manifest down to the root chakra like in the physical world. So that makes sense with what I was seeing. Um, I want to point out we have 777. So that could be something here too. You may want to look up the angel number 777. Um, let's see three of cups the seven of cups what else do you want to talk about here um, they want to say as well there's something about sleep some of you may have been sleeping you know either very well very deeply or you've been having trouble sleeping but there's been some something happening in your sleep here which has been allowing for some truths to come through or just to heal something within yourself but it does seem like for a lot of you there's a strong kind of knowing or that you're picking up on a future it's almost like a future version of you is picking up on this information of something incoming um, and you can kind of feel it you can kind of sense it here and i do feel like i'm hearing it's your time yeah it's like you're going from again that ten of swords to the ten of cups it is your time um i do think that yeah it's it's really like it's your time to it's like something literal about this celebration so some of you could even be having some kind of incoming celebration it could be in the form of a, of a person you know coming towards you a person reaching out to you it could be that you meet a group of people it's good news even for some of you whatever that specific thing is that you wanted to manifest could be coming in and you're going to have a cause to celebrate so maybe you kind of land that job you've wanted or maybe you um, shift into the reality that you want or something happens here in your physical world which is going to be a cause again for celebration and I'm just getting that a lot of doors are swinging open with the seven of cups there's many things to kind of choose from or many things to to manifest here And for some of you watching this with the Hierophant and the Crown Chakra, you actually might be someone who is really leveling up when it comes to your psychic and spiritual gifts. For a few of you, that may be something that you're pursuing in terms of a career. Um, and if that is the case, you're going to be very successful with that because you are, you are, it's again, it's you're, you're ready to sort of activate that now. So there's been something that has clicked into place on like that higher self level and it's something that maybe has been a calling for some of you if that's the case maybe something that you've wanted to pursue um, and it seems like you're going to be activating that and allowing that to sort of happen in the in the physical world where you're going to see evidence of that coming in in the physical world so yeah I'm hearing spirits say dipping your toes into something new 
dip, you're dipping your toes into something new. So let's let's get a few more cards to see any other specifics for this. Then I will get a few tea leaf cards as well. Is there anything else you want to say, Spirit, to this? Any specific details as to what else you want to add here? We have the crow. So I, I did choose the crow tarot today. So there is something about a crow definitely coming up here. The symbolism of the crow could be surrounding you. And I'm hearing it's because a lot of you, again, are very... You have a lot of wisdom here. You know, with that crow and kind of the representation of, um, to me, it's like, you know, secrets kind of, it's it's mysteries, it's the underworld. And with that book here, a lot of you have quite literally attained that book. And that book could, inside of that book, is for a few of you, it's something relating to your spiritual journey and maybe even something that you are doing in terms of a gift or a spiritual career for a few of you. And you've kind of had the calling for it, or it's going to kind of illuminate for you to take that path. Others of you, this is more of just like a general sense that you have, I don't know, you can walk through the world now with that book because you've already, you've, you've mastered something so you can take your wisdom with you moving forward. Um, Okay, can you tell us anything else here? Any other specifics for what this is then for the for the viewer, for the collective here? Okay, so we have the mice. We have the child. Wine, balance, and we have Milky Way. Well, so first of all, with this Milky Way and the Three of Cups, the Seven of Cups, some of you, again, there could be something with like quite literally being in the spotlight, social media, networking, publicity. Um, that's for some of you. There's a sense of kind of you, something with your heart, following your heart leads to this. Following your heart is going to lead to this sort of Let's see, balance, the Milky Way, the Seven of Cups. What else, Spirit, do you want to say here for this message? What else do we have here? I'm actually going to grab the tea leaf cards to go with this because a lot of the same information is coming up. So let me, let me get some of these and see if there's any specifics we can add to this reading. But I'm hearing again, there's a celebration. I'm hearing it'll it'll be good when you get there or something with the wine. So for some of you, again, this is something connected to you entering into a certain role kind of a, of your life, you know, or like a, like a wine, you know, it develops over time. And in this case, it seems to be connected to me to something that you've been growing over time and even to do with maybe on a deeper level, kind of the lessons that you've been learning and they've all they've been kind of ripening and growing to lead you to this point of something that will be worth it you know like a fine wine it doesn't it's not going to be a fine wine overnight it's going to take a while to ripen and so that's kind of what i'm getting and i will get some specifics now to see what that could be for some of you it's definitely going to be in the form of a person though maybe this is something that it's kind of like how to put it is like a feeling to where you've um like, let's say that you've waited for a while or you've been in, like for a lot of us, you know, in the collective, we've been kind of in this spiritual journey, which has its ups and downs. Maybe some of you have had kind of a down cycle for a while, maybe even a few years or something. Um, and it's like, what's been happening is that you've been ripening, if that makes sense. You've been ripening during that time, even though you thought that you weren't or even if you couldn't see it. So when you kind of, when you kind of receive that glass of wine at the end that's been ripening, metaphorically speaking, it's going to be very delicious and good because you've 
deserved it because of all the time you've spent healing and on yourself and various things. I hope that kind of makes sense. And even from like a soul level, you know, with the wisdom, the hierophant, there's been like a, a ripening kind of to allow for the divine timing to come in here, which is going to feel very luxurious and very stable when it comes in. And so for some of you, it could be a person that enters your life. Um, again, there's a successful outcome to a problem we keep seeing here. So this is definitely something very specific for a few of you. You know, for example, you may have like a person who offers you that position that can give you stability or to have some kind of fame maybe or publicity or you could have the right, um, whatever that is, I don't know, the right networking or the right marketing to lead you somewhere. There's just something about like good news that comes in, which is going to be very worth it for you and kind of comes in at a time where it's it's a success. It's like, it's ripe. Um, it could be a love connection as well. Let's get a few more. We have get back to the basics. Yeah. And for a few of you, like I was mentioning before about the love situation, um, it could be something like that too, to where maybe at the time it wasn't ripe, you know, the, the, the wine wasn't good um, and you couldn't maybe have that connection that you wanted with that person. But what's been happening kind of is that there is going to be a solution to that. It just had to ripen over time. So maybe that could be that somebody enters your life again or that there is a uh, maybe something else that also takes place of it. There's just something like that um, to where there's an opportunity which is coming in when it's the right time here. Is there anything else you can say, Spirit, for this message to give any more specifics as to what's going on here and what this is for the viewers? I'm seeing a specific message for somebody that you may have to, I'm hearing you have, may have to fly a lot for your job. Yeah, so there could be something about a new job coming in for somebody. And it could re revolve, or not revolve, but it could include travel. It could include you needing to travel to many different locations. That's for somebody only. But this actually is going to be an opportunity that someone's going to present for you to be more known, though, or for something like that to happen where you have the right connections. And so it could be like you may be a bit busier. You may have many more things to do, but... Um, it is going to be something good for you, though. Um, it's almost almost like a maturing, too, like a leveling up with this Hierophant here. You reap what you have sown. Yeah, and so for many of you watching this, what you need to know is, um, like I was saying from the beginning, you know, there's a sense of kind of you've risen above the storm. You have um, risen above that turbulence. There's something about planes coming up. Um, and so now that you've done that, it's like the, the kind of good karma is coming in for you in the form of this ripe wine, which you will be very happy and content with when it comes in, you know, um, maybe more of, a, of a, a higher pay, you know, it could be something that is going to be a new beginning maybe for you to get back to basics, but it's going to now be ripe and juicy and um, abundant and lush for you because whatever that misunderstanding was or that time period in your life, um, it seems like it is coming back to you tenfold in a more positive way now, you know, if that makes sense. There's, there's a feeling of that. Is there anything else here for whoever needs to hear this message? Yeah, so you are on the right track regarding some aspect of your life. That's what I had seen with the Empress. Um, and some of you may need that confirmation, especially if you feel that maybe you've you've wondered if this path, whatever it is you're taking, is the right path for you, or you've wondered if, you know, maybe rising above the stor storm, so to speak, was the right choice for you. Something like that, where you need to know that karma is actually on your side here. Um, with this mice, this could be that some of you are worrying a lot about something, though. Maybe you find yourself really concerned about whatever that misunderstanding or just that kind of issue or problem in your life was. You may be very worried about it. But actually, again, you know, what's coming up is that um, it's developing over time. It's, it's going to be, you don't have to rush into it. That could be another message, too, that if you're trying to rush something or if you feel like you are running out of time, it's not going to be that way. You're not running out of time. It's actually going to be that it's the opposite. It's been ripening um, because we can't force the Hierophant. 
You know, we can't we can't be in that position of the Hierophant in that particular card here with that book. Um, again, like overnight, it, it takes lifetimes, it takes lessons. And so that's what I'm seeing for a lot of you. You've cracked kind of that code somehow or like with that crown chakra, you've you've unlocked that. You've had the key now further for this. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying. You'll be playing a different role. There's some kind of role here I was saying. I think I mentioned that. I can't remember what came up now, but there was something about a role. So with that crown on top of the Queen of Wands too, for a lot of you, of course, it's going to be different for everybody, but there's like a new role that you are, you've stepped into with that, again, the Hierophant. There's something here where maybe you're going to be a spiritual leader, a spiritual teacher, or you just are going to be leading people in whatever field that is for you. Because again, you are the Empress here. You've been able to, um, you've, you've really accomplished this yourself, I'm hearing though. So it's because of the work that you've done on yourself. It's because of maybe even for some of you, you've chosen to take a higher perspective on something. You may have chosen to walk away from something and you doing that, you pulling back was actually what landed you in this position or what is going to land you in this position. And this is general. So even if it's something like on a more general or broad sense for you, maybe your role is just your day-to-day -day kind of self you know your main character kind of energy maybe it's something like that too it may not be like it's a new job it could just be that some of you are ready here to accomplish again the next level of your spiritual growth by being a new form of you that you are now unlocked so that you can be that version of you which is a higher version of you and with the crown chakra and the root chakra again coming up, this may have been a very difficult activation. I know for me, myself, I've been feeling very, very, like I've had to ground myself constantly because I can feel there's been like a, an activation for me further around the crown chakra area. So I've even found myself like getting really dizzy and that's just a sign that I have to ground myself. So you may find that as well if you align to this to where there's a lot going on in that crown chakra area to where you do need to make sure that you ground yourself that you center meditate kind of be within yourself because this can be kind of a process that can cause a lot of it can be an uncomfortable process it can cause a lot of with the tower you know it could be that there's a lot of changes happening within you your body even um your life around you and Spirit is referring to the upcoming solar eclipse that could be even more so connected to this where there's going to be a lot of like rapid influx of energy. So these kind of flew out. I don't know if I'm going to take them all, but I, it's funny. I want to mention we have the broken wishbone wish will not be granted and then a sincere wish will be granted and there's that needle see i was getting something about like a specific pinpoint something i don't know what that is though for you let me pull another card on what that pinpoint thing is but there's something for some of you that you've pinpointed okay so take that what that's going to mean for you maybe you've um maybe you've said that i only want I don't know there's something that you've been able to sort of say that this is what i want or you've you've pinned it kind of on the map or you've pinned it on the timeline of various things that could happen and that thing that you pinned kind of is going to be the the wish coming true but it may have been that it wasn't the right time again here so it may be a slow journey for some of you this could even have been something that years ago or something like that or you've tried to get to that pinpoint of what you want but it just wasn't happening it wasn't the right time um, some of you, this could have been from December. You were in a financial pinch. And again, this is going to be changing by the end of the year. You know, you're going to be receiving this new position or new job or just a pay raise or something. And it could be by next December, you're going to find yourself in this completely different energy, this new role. I'm hearing spirit say we saved the best for last recognition reward for merit guaranteed success yeah for most of you this seems to be a reading connecting about your career though um, for a lot of you but it could be both it could be 
it could be other things too but for a lot of you it seems to be connected to that and it's almost like again with the with the grapes the the fine wine it's been reserved for you at a time that you will be grateful to receive it and you'll be open to receive it um okay so let's see if there's anything else that you need to know and then i will let's see is there anything else here that the viewer needs to know about this message please spirit is there anything else that the viewer needs to know Is there anything else we have dragon discover your courage I know I just did a pick a card reading it was a scrying reading and I was pointing to some significance with the dragon so if you chose that pile um, there could be like an extra confirmation of something with that dragon uh, maybe some of you that's your spirit animal and it's like there's a feeling you know of how this person's riding the dragon kind of looking moving forward there's a feeling of like again the dragon for me in this case is connecting to something on a deep spiritual level about your your gifts maybe or with the hierophant something that you're ready to sort of share with the world i'm hearing laser focused so that could be also some advice for some of you to be laser focused right now um, raise your standards, make the best choices. Yeah, I feel like for some, there's there's definitely going to be like a lot incoming for you to be responsible for. That is going to be for some of you. Like maybe you're taking on a position which you have a lot more responsibility, but at the same time, it's going to be something very, you know, positive and rewarding. It could bring you a lot of more, again, publicity, money maybe, something which is just going to be more of like you're helping people if that's the case there's just more of like a position that you're stepping into which is again this new role and i just feel like this is going to require courage and bravery to receive this to, to allow this to kind of come in fully because you're really ready for it um you're really ready for that and if you do start to feel pulled into a certain direction with that crown chakra that is your higher self guiding you yeah the an opportunity knocks go for it cherish memories of loved ones we have archangel gabriel here so that could be an archangel that you connect with coming through in the reading yeah i'm hearing again this will take time or this will grow in time so this might even be something really big for some of you, like you're starting something, but you're going to have to give yourself enough time. You're going to have to allow yourself to have the courage to know that it is going to continue to grow in time. Um, I'm actually going to look at that new person here in a second, but... Some of this is ancestors, I'm being told, with this memories. You may, you may be definitely like, the one in your family that is meant to break the generational curses here i'm hearing and there's a strong feeling of like you did it you know or you're if you haven't yet you're going to accomplish whatever that is that you've wanted and it's going to be again very rewarding very much of a celebration you have a lot of people on your side here with these people at the top of this mountain i'm almost seeing it as like soul family but also could be it's just like good things are on your side to help you accomplish your goals in the form of people in the form of spirit in the form of many different things and um i just feel like you're very supported here by loved ones and it seems like it's ancestors here spirit guides and ancestors on the other side who are supporting this so I don't think I'm going to do an extended because it seems like there's not more to say about this. It's just kind of like 
you know, it, this is the message. But I do want to pull a card for that someone new enters your life. If it does seem to be like connected to love or something specific, then I might extend on that. But everything else is just kind of straightforward here with this. Let's see, is there anything about this someone new is entering your life? What is this about? Somebody new is entering your life. What is this for the viewer? I am hearing that for some of you, this is going to, I'm hearing fill the void. Not like in a way to where it's a filling the void that you need, need somebody, but it's more so like it's going to repair or not repair either, but it's just going to sort of fill in some missing pieces with that Ten of Swords that you felt that you had had there at, in the past. With the Ten of Cups, it's going to be, again, very warm kind of feeling here coming through. The Page of Pentacles is kind of peeking out in the corner. Yeah, for some of you, though, it's going to be somebody who can help you to accomplish. Are these feathers here? I think those are feathers because I was just being drawn to those. So there could be something that you find a feather. If you do find feathers, this could be a confirmation for you that this is somebody who's about to enter your life and you could find a feather, especially like a white or gray feather. Um, and that would be your confirmation that this part is really for you. But I mean, even if you don't find the feather, it still could be for you. But there's something here to where this person that enters your life is going to be some kind of assistance for you to get to where you want to be with whatever this pinpoint kind of is or the goal um, and that could be it's almost like they help you to come out of something though you know so maybe this person is going to help to bridge you from an old chapter of your life into the new chapter of your life um, they're kind of leaving it general so it could be different for a lot of you it could be a um, a friend it could be possibly romance if it is a romantic partner that enters your life it's going to be somebody like that who's going to give you inspiration maybe even somebody who's going to serve as like a inspiring person for you like a, a warm maybe soulmate connection something that feels very good and they help you to overcome something of the past that could be for a few of you it could also be somebody who gives you an opportunity in work though um, and if that's the case, it's definitely going to be someone who may have something new for you to try. You know, maybe it's travel. Maybe you're going to get this opportunity to travel that you haven't had before. It's just going to like enter you into a new kind of phase. Is there anything else about this new person? Is there anything else about this new person? The Falcon so we have the third eye again and we have the fool yeah this is gonna be really hey look rising above yeah that's what that Empress was there's something about rising above higher self yeah I feel like this reading was a reading about whoever this is for it's like this reading came from kind of your higher self delivering this message here for you to know the path to go or that what's kind of uh, the guidance for you so it's like a guidance kind of reading maybe or something with this Falcon could be um, symbolic for somebody too. This new person entering your life. I'm hearing it's going to be easy. So yeah, it feels kind of like, again, they're leaving it open, but it's going to be something kind of easy. It's going to be something which feels like you can take a leap of faith. You can be yourself. Um, you can express maybe your talent or individuality. It could be something with technology, since we had the networking up there. It could be someone who reaches out through technology, social media, or something involving like a, a job like that. There's just something about like a message here that comes in. And some of you are actually manifesting this person to come in, whether you know it or not, because of the kind of role that you're ready for, you know, if that makes sense. You being ready for the new or you being ready to pursue your dreams or something specific. 
you've set the intention for that and then someone's going to be the bridge to help you get there who's going to come into your life maybe even more than one person the key again so we have three things about a key here i think in the reading Yeah, something about this person's going to, again, like unlock something. Why do we have the mask here? Yeah, for some of you, it's going to help to take off your mask. And that's going to be very specific for you. Maybe you've been worried to do something or you've been afraid to show yourself. Or maybe it could be so many things, but there's something to where this new person is somehow going to help you to unlock your true nature of self and you being able to do something that you've wanted to do or just kind of know yourself or take an opportunity which is a bold one um, and kind of be able to take off the mask so that could be something very specific like you've always wanted to do something but you've been afraid to do it um, it's again it's a manifestation of your higher self coming in to manifest this opportunity to take you over here Okay, so I'm going to close this up with one final animal card to see if there's any final advice or final message here for the viewer. Anything else that we need to know here for the viewer? Any final message? The lion. Oh my god, the dragon. I knew that was going to come out too. I kind of felt that it was going to come out. So yeah, there's something about that connection. If you haven't watched that reading and if you feel like this reading is for you, you may want to go back to the reading I posted. I think it was news coming in and actually there is a this could be news too if you want to watch that reading you can watch the dragon part of it because that could be additional messages to this here because there's something about that there's something with a dragon recently in the collective um yeah this is a really powerful message for, for somebody that like again you know you're really ready to step into a very powerful position it feels like I'm hearing you can no longer fake it or you can no longer be fake but it's not that you're being fake it's just like there's some mask being taken off and for some of you this is again like a kind of a deep thing with the hierophant to where you know maybe for example something about your true innate soul gifts maybe psychic gifts maybe something that from past lives have sort of been held dormant for you it's like you're, you're receiving this opportunity because your higher self knows you're ready to reveal the depths of kind of your soul and your talents and your gifts and something that you're ready to achieve. Um, so it's a very powerful feeling for this, whoever aligned to this, I feel like you're a very powerful person and you're a very powerful soul who's meant to do something here in this lifetime very powerfully. And this reading is kind of a manifestation of that and a confirmation to say, that you have what it takes and you're about to see yourself step into the role that you've always meant to be um and it's a really again like a, a breakthrough kind of feeling it's it's something to where you're no longer holding back kind of on those things within yourself and it's something that you can't even control anyway because it's always been meant to be yours it's always been meant to happen for you in this lifetime but you had to kind of go through a series of sort of tests and all of that to get to this point. So get ready, kind of or brace yourself um, for these changes, which are going to catapult you into a new role, spiritually speaking, especially. But regardless of what you do, being a leader, being kind of a way shower, maybe. yeah so i will leave it here um and lastly before i go archangel gabriel i'm seeing this kind of peek out here to say something about connecting with him so maybe meditation or something here for somebody if you want to connect with archangel gabriel but i will leave it here i really hope this reading could find whoever it's meant for it definitely seems like somebody needs to hear this um so let me know if it's for you if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up comment down below I'd appreciate it, and I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.